Hi there. So here's what we started with. And here's what happened. It took about a year. So this video is showing an Icon FJ44 modification. So that's our six passenger long wheelbase uh, FJ series Icon. And uh, we started with, uh, as you saw, pretty hammered, uh, I think it was a 68 FJ40. And uh, in the end, we created this. So this particular one is in the new school style, and it's built in the volcanic black color, which is probably our most popular color. Also featuring the uh, BF Goodrich All Terrains with the American Racing ATX Teflon coated aluminum wheels. Uh, other options on this truck include the insulated soft top, uh, base audio system, the sport brake package, uh, Chilowich textiles on the interior and I think that's pretty much it. It was a pretty simple uh, icon spec build as this client wanted. So I uh, just kind of want to show off our craftsmanship. So uh, this video is kind of a long one but uh, I want to take the opportunity to uh, show you some of the details. Um, the body is crafted uh, by Aqualoo in Canada using 5 30 seconds thick 5052 h32 unannealed marine rated aluminum for the hoods we still are able to source those new through toyota that's our little lizard logo he's on all of our trucks because if you're out for buying here in southern cal and no one else can make it except for you and your icon you're likely to see the california blue belly lizard crawling around with you these side emblems are cnc out of stainless steel and then powder coated uh, the surface finish on the truck here, I'm trying to kind of show you the surface sheen because it's not really like murdered out matte black. Uh, it's a Teflon polyester hybrid uh, super durable powder coat finish. Um, we're really happy with it. And then all the uh, hardware, except for structural hardware, is uh, stainless steel, a lot of uh, nylon uh, flat plane nuts. Here you see our in instrument panel, which is again CNC'd out of aluminum. The AC vents come from Cessna, so they also are extruded aluminum, not the plastic crap. All the knobs on the dash are uh, CNC'd out of aluminum and then knurled on a 1940s lathe and then uh, engraved and enameled by hand. You also notice a power port there at center. This truck's an automatic with the Atlas twin stick. Here you see the Alpine audio head unit with the iPod interface option. I have a quick peek here at the second row of seats. You almost see the third row. We offer various configurations for that third row, uh, ranging from nothing to the side-facing jump seats or the forward-facing tuck and tumble like you see. This material you'll see here in this close-up, uh, the vinyl is what's called MB Tex from Mercedes, and then the floor mats and the center seat panels are all done in Chilowich. Uh, the floor mats are rubber backed, then a layer of Dynamat, and then a layer of Chilowich. Uh, so they, they provide utility on various levels. It's kind of cool. See all the stainless hardware at the half point of those doors? Uh, the design intent there is that you can use the included uh, toolbox in the trunk and remove the door uppers entirely, and uh, it's kind of nice to be all open. Under hood, this truck's featuring the 5.3 uh, LS block Vortec. Vortec intake and injectors, uh, 350 horse, 400 torque. That catch can on the firewall is the remote breather for the differentials and transfer case. These have been great motors, easy to service, worldwide uh, product availability, uh, really great. Uh, we did a conventional two ton jack, you see there. This client didn't like the concept of the X jack. Now moving around to the back. There's the CNC uh, stainless and uh, billet carrier hook. This pivot pin rides a ramp and engages when opened, keeps it from going out into traffic or coming back and hitting the tailgate unless you pull that pin. There you see two storage drawers that take advantage of the uh, kind of dead space in the bumper. Here you can see that pin actuate. Ready and click. Works really well. Those pivot shafts also are structurally tied uh, to the frame, not the body. Here you'll notice these are 10x snaps, which we import from Germany. They're much better than the conventional marine turnbuckles that seem to break all the time. 
Um, here you see the removing point. It's kind of a hassle, but you can remove that third row tuck and tumble seat by pulling those little Jesus clips there. So here it is latched back down. You can still store stuff on top or fold the seat back and party on, and there's still room for a duffel bag behind you, as well as room to the left and right of those third row passengers. We offer two different tailgates, this one being the drop down. It provides a full length locking storage bin where we put the tool kit and uh, wheel locks. There you see the rear Marine Co. Marine rated power port and speakers. That surface on the floor and inside of the tailgate is also on the underside of the vehicle body and fenders, and it's a heat cured polyurea. We do that in lieu of uh, conventional petroleum-based undercoating products. It uh, lasts much longer, and it's environmentally neutral. It doesn't leach. Here you see the Nike-sourced uh, marine-rated YKK zippers. The canvas on this soft top is uh, Mercedes OEM hearts cloth, and there's actually two soft tops with a one-inch jute interlayment. There's the nifty power step option that's tied to a sensor on the door. So as you open the door, it swings down, helps you get in, and then gets away. See the roll bar structure. Here are nifty visors. Uh, those are the same visors you'll find in the cockpit of a Learjet. They're really cool. Notice that automatic shifter is designed to still look like a manual, but you push the button in the center to engage the gears. Here in the second row, uh, we created a couple more storage cubby holes. The glove box is really small. The center console is huge, but we also found opportunities here. So underneath the second row of seats. There's little cubby holes where you can fit a backpack and some gear or what have you. You'll notice also in this shot you can see the Chilowich mats which are modular and Velcro, three and Velcro seaming. So those are removable and then there's rubber drain plugs in the floor you can simply hose it off and party on. And there's that third row seat. 